This is CNBC. Good morning and welcome to today's business. I'm Andrew Lucky. And I'm Cece Garib. Good morning, everyone. Catholics unable to see the Pope in person will be able to follow the pontiff's moves by logging onto the net. And that's just one example of how the Vatican is using the media to lead the faithful into the new millennia. As we continue our series examining the Pope's visit to America, Jerry Cobb takes a look at the Pope online. Carol Cunningham and her family can't get back east to see the Pope, but they're following his historic visit on the Internet at a worldwide website known as CatholicNet. We all got something different out of it. I was finding out where the, where the Pope is going to be on his tour. Um, they have uh, several news magazines, current church events. They have also the old Baltimore Catechism is on there, with, which has all the answers to, you know, who is God, what is heaven, that kind of thing. It's all right on there. Whether it's the Epistle of Ignatius or the Sermon on the Mount, seek and ye shall probably find it on CatholicNet. Creators of the site say it's all in keeping with the unique vision John Paul II has brought to the papacy. He is uh, one of the greatest evangelists we have seen uh, in spreading the word, and this is a uh, way of uh, spreading the truth, uh, making it available uh, to as many people as possible throughout the world. CatholicNet is just one of about a dozen online sources of information on the Pope and the Holy See. And with up to half a billion internet users expected by the turn of the century, the Vatican is eager to send electronic missionaries like these into cyberspace and the world of new media in order to reach its flock. John Paul II has traveled the world over. Jasmine Multimedia has compiled an extensive tour of the Vatican on a pair of CD-ROMs narrated by Sir Peter Ustinov and filled with church writings, archival footage, and reenactments of historic figures. It can be a religious experience, or it can be a history experience, or it can be an art experience. The choice is up to the user. With an unofficial web page for the Pope already on the Internet and plans to set up sites for every Roman Catholic bishop in the world, one wonders where all of this is leading. Cyber confessions? Mass for the masses online? Maybe someday, but to the faithful, none of this is a new direction for the Church. It's just the latest example of using the handiwork of man to spread the word of God. Jerry Cobb, CNBC Business News, Los Angeles.